Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis video. I hope that you are doing really, really, really well. Um, I'm going to actually start right away with this video and uh, for that video I'm going to do something special today as this is going to be the last video uh, that we're going to do on a public live stream um, of the year. So um, boy oh boy oh boy what an epic prediction did we do and it all stems from the last public live stream where we had the three wise men Daniel, Coach Igor and myself on one stream making a really epic epic prediction uh, where Bitcoin was touching the magic level and from there on out we had a major major rejection. Um, this video I want to dedicate uh, a little bit on uh, some parts that we discussed in there and I find it very very special because it was all done public on live stream and the extra special thing about it uh, a lot of people took the trade with us and um, yeah it's simply amazing so I just want to highlight a few parts of uh, of that stream and from there on out I'm going to give a little quick update on what has happened and transpired on the Bitcoin chart since then and uh, going to uh, to give you all a little bit of an update on what I expect to happen uh, next. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and there we go. So starting off, obviously, with uh, with the humble request to hit that uh, like and subscribe button for to help the YouTube algorithm spread the knowledge even further than we already did on Monday. Thank you ever so much for joining us uh, and sticking with us over all this time. Really, really, really appreciate it. So if you like what we do, please, you know, just follow, give us a like, follow us on the social media, and so we can keep on doing what we what we do. And uh, you know, that is the biggest reward for us that we can get from you your support so thanks in advance for that now let's dive into it starting off with how the stream started off as we were hitting this magic level on the chart so stay tuned we start off with this video and then i'm going to continue on with uh, with some other snippets from that stream as well enjoy support um so where are we now at the moment? For me, it is actually fairly simple because we are at the top of the range and it looks like we have just swing failure that move. Not only we did, we did take out that high uh, just now, uh, there was technical confluence because if you would pull a simple Fibonacci level from where the big drop has started, in other words, from the yearly point of control, which we'll probably get back to in a little bit as well, um, then uh, you can see that there is a CC straight in the middle of it. And what did we hit almost to the, or actually to the exact dollar, nothing other but the special chart champions Fibonacci level. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason why we are now at the top of the range, swing failing at the moment this high and at the moment just uh, hovering down there for a little bit. Uh, not too much is happening at the moment. But we did have a reaction. Now the real question is, are we going to continue now to the downside or are we going to continue to the upside? For me, that's also fairly, fairly simple because I'm basing uh, these kind of readings uh, mainly on market structures. So the first level that we now need to really lose is this daily level for the open of the next red candle. If you candle. hover over this one, mm -hmm. this one here, I have one more left. Yep. Yeah, look at this. So you see this. This is a golden nugget of information. Yeah. You see the high, $52,000, exactly. Exactly. So as soon as people see this, you have to think there's 10 minutes passing and 10 minutes in cryptocurrency scope trading so is a, long a time. very long yeah. time. So as soon as people see that high at $52,000, what they're thinking is, right, $52,000 is resistance. We've seen a swing failure pattern. I will short here with my stop loss, $52,001. And, yeah. and then 10 minutes later, and this Ooh. is a pattern that happens all the time, you then take that high, you stop out all the early shorts, and then you get the drop. Yeah, like That happens yeah. literally yeah. so, 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 so much. Very common. And yeah. It just gives the easiest short, but it requires that first bit of patience. Yeah. Like Otherwise, you short too early, you, you will have got stopped out on that. And it requires... Yeah. I understand you. Uh, for me, is don't don't look at the uh, the people screaming for really really crazy high numbers or low numbers or whatever number it is, and uh, just try and understand it yourself why they're calling these numbers because obviously it's you know some of them are definitely not realistic even 
and um, just try to understand technical analysis, you know, and, um, you know, why they, they always say, why do 95% people lose money in trading? It's because they all read the same books. Yeah. So, you know, there's no, you can't read the books, you know, you have to kind of learn you're on edge, you know, we will give you some, you know, advanced knowledge on how to read order flow, for example, and, you know, making your own levels, but it's down to you to actually go in there and, um, trade these levels and making your own strategies around you know what you're going to be what's going to be your confluence you know what's your plan you know am i going to wait for a specific time to too long or short um so yeah just be patient and i think the most important thing i would say is and that's helped me a lot was uh, to uh create your own journal where you actually log your trades even before they happen because as you saw um, I was able to say that we had a nice SFP incoming uh, 14 days ago. I mean, it's 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 here. Uh, I can show you again, just so that you know what we're talking about. There's an alert was created. Look, close the longs from the low, uh, created on the 17th of December. So what can I say about all of this? There were three coaches. I could say almost that the three wise men have come early this year and gave you all a really epic end of the year prediction live on stream. And it literally went exactly as predicted. Um, actually, I listened to my own advice even uh, the next day because, uh, you know, I missed most of that particular stream. So I took it as a signal and I actually also took the short uh, based off of that uh, little signal. Uh, of course, I'm joking. We paper trade here. It's mainly meant to be educational, uh, uh, you know, uh, for educational purposes only. However, uh, there are other people that are learning and that are trying to put it into practice. So, you know, some people are uh, with me within the community. People also shorted with us that swing failure pattern off the high, uh, you know, earning, earning some money with it. Uh, here, just beautiful to see so many people following along and, uh, you know, uh, shorting with us, uh, trading this on a technical way, not based on emotions. And it's just simply amazing to see that everybody, uh, especially within the community, is learning uh, and, and also starting to get a grasp on the concepts that we teach. And it's just simply amazing. And for me, it's heartwarming to see uh, that the hard work is uh, paying off. I mean, uh, Paul making, uh, you know, a whole bunch of money really 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 well well played alongside with with a lot of people within the community and it it's not only staying within the community because we did all of this on actually a public live stream i mean we have this guy giving us a really big thanks uh you know giving giving this person the confidence to actually take the trade trust his uh, analysis that this person already did beforehand but just giving that extra little push just uh, you, you know, just uh, to, to give that extra push to actually trust in their own analysis and take that trade. So that's brilliant, uh, brilliantly done, very, very well traded. Uh, what can I say? Amazing. So uh, with that video, um, uh, I think that that really set an epic end of the year uh, type of uh, prediction. Uh, but we have had the rejection so let me quickly cover uh bitcoin as to where we have left from the uh, then and there so if i would show up some some few levels we did had quite an epic rejection and as as said in the stream should we lose this daily level then i say that the rejection is fully into play so if you would zoom down to the lower term time frame it was pretty relentless and it was for the reason that there were so many longs opening in this entire section so for that reason it was a very sustained and powerful drop to the downside without even having a proper backtest of the level however we did lose the level and we did more or less get a little bit of a backtest or you could say consolidation above support which is then in the middle of the range which i class as a key level at 48,700. Uh, which was the next level of support for me. And what did we do back tested? We did not necessarily back tested that daily level, but we back tested that previous consolidation area that you can find over here, which marked out the absolute low of the previous range uh, after a deviation from the daily level to the downside. So all in all, once again, very, 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 very technical, uh, very well, uh, how do you say that condensed sustained and all in all just really really technical so what else is there left to say however we did 
uh, lose that level eventually and we have dropped down uh, below that level and we are now entering into a consolidation phase once again uh, below this consolidation area where we did find uh, resistance or uh, accumulated volume uh, prior to the rise to the upside which we are now below so based off of that we have another key level simply down below which i would say at around the 46000 uh, level give or take a few hundred dollars i class it more as a region which simply is next uh, next support uh, and the levels that were prior support like the daily and like this key level over here are now have turned into resistance as we simply have gone past the level so in that sense um, I, I really don't think it's overly overly complicated the only thing i think that's in a lot of people's uh, way is their emotions um, you know hoping basically hoping for extremely high or low targets whereas if you have access to the tools and know how to use it um, you know you can use that to form uh technical levels where you can ba make informed decisions about and for that you really don't need emotions all you need is knowledge and practice and once you're, you you've managed you know to to get that practice right all you need to do is simply trust that analysis that you've done and and you know um uh, react off of that rather than emotions or following other people so to speak um so with that uh we have come to the end of this video i do want to take a small moment to say to give a big shout out to everybody who has been uh, who's been uh, sticking with us over the last uh, year uh, it's been an amazing ride and uh, definitely looking forward to you know to the next videos and to the next year as uh, we are working on something very large uh, which is going to drop very soon so definitely you know hit that subscribe button uh, if, if you like what we do you know hit that hit that like button follow us around on social media for further updates on on what we are really working on um, and yeah definitely looking forward to provide you with much more content in the year to come so have a really 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 happy new year's eve and uh, see you in the next year so all that's left to say is have a great one Peace. See you in the next year.